Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to talk about the use of SRS, or Simple Radio Standalone, in DCS World. I've had a lot of people comment recently asking what SRS is and how you use it in multiplayer. So this video is intended to tell you what it is and how you can use it. First off, it's a radio system. Your aircraft in DCF have radios you can tune into a frequency and SRS uses that so you can transmit on frequencies in game to speak to other players. You'll only hear other players that are on the same frequency as you and it's affected by things like distance and terrain. So if you're miles away low level, you're not gonna hear the chatter. If you're closer, like a real radio, you're gonna hear things nice and loud. Now to get SRS and install it, you need to go to the following website. So dcssimpleradio.com, I'll include a link for that in the description below. Click on the big blue button that says download latest release. It'll bring you to this page, DCS Simple Radio Standalone Releases, and it'll tell you the latest release. What you need to do is scroll down, and you'll find the DCS Simple Radio Standalone Zip. Click on that. That was my loud click. It'll download. And then you open it. You will have all these files. Click on installer.exe allow it to install and then you're going to pick where you want it to go and then you need to locate your saved games folder not your DCS folder so if you've got Steam DCS not your Steam apps DCS your actual C drive or whatever drive you use users username saved games that's where it's going to go that's where you're going to install it once that's done I create a shortcut on my menu. You need to open it. There it is. So what we have here is the default microphone you want to use. Choose from whatever microphones you have installed. The default speakers, you're gonna hear the radio transmissions. And then if you wanna hear your own voice, which for beginners, I don't recommend because you'll trip up over your words if you can hear what you're saying that's where you can select. So choose your speakers you want to hear. For mine, I use my uh, headset. It's entirely dependent on what you have. The box underneath is the server address. That's in the mission briefing, which I'll show you later. But as this is installed now, you don't need to do anything. You can click on a game, start it up, and this will automatically connect. If it doesn't automatically connect, this is where you can type in the server address. Toggle radio overlay, that puts a uh, little information on your screen that you can see what radio is just selected. I've not done AWACS overlay, that's not for this video. Okay. Controls. You need to press the talk. I choose radio 1, radio 2, so I can change between my first radio and my second radio, which one I want to transmit on. And then my press to talk switch. So you can press the button, speak, it'll transmit on the radio. Favourites covers your favourite servers. I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to show you who my favourites are. That'd be favouritism, lols. Settings. It will tell you if it's connected, mismatches, all these different things you can look at. Help. If you've got any problems, click on it, read it. It's fairly easy to install. Okay. So now that DCS is up and running, you can see here, no radio connected, connect to SRS server and start or join a mission. So we go to multiplayer, click. It brings up a list of servers you can join. Uh, if we look at this one, the Through the Inferno, it will tell you here, server description, what it does, server info, blah, blah, SRS radio IPs. So if you connected to a game, and it didn't automatically connect, this is what you would put in, stand by, this is what you would put in the server address. So you type that all in there. So socal.throughtheinferno.com semicolon 5002. That's what you'd put in there. 
Now you could click connect. I find it's better just to leave it. And then if you join the server, you hear that beep. That's it connected to SRS. Now, once you're in the mission, you need to select an aircraft. I'll select the Huey because it's the easiest to start up. I'll show you other examples in a different video. So let me get rid of that. So I can see here it's connected. I'm on 2510000 AM and that asterisk lets me know I'm transmitting. So on my controls where I chose radio one, radio two, I press those buttons and it cycles between them. So I'll jump in the Huey. I won't start her up fully. What I will do is get enough power to power up my radios. Right. So this radio here is my UHF radio. If you look at the ARC 51 Bravo X-ray, I will change that to transmit receive. It's already gone. I'm going to tune the radio. So watch as I tune here. Watch what happens here. The frequency changes. Now I know 254 is what people speak. Let me shut that door. It's loud. People taking off. So 254 is I know from this server's briefing because I've flown here before. Let me scroll down. Here's your frequencies. So 254 is the AWACS and air-to-air -air combat. Yes, I'm not going to do air-to-air -air combat in a Huey. However, this is just an example. So that's where it is. ATIS frequencies. I'll tune that in a second. I'll tune 244. But what I'll do is a radio check on 254 first. I need to select it to transmit in the Huey. Warlock radio check on 254. So that's me just checking in. Roger. So someone acknowledged. So 244. Oh, sorry. 244. Now that's the ATIS. So that information, the ATIS, that's a pre recorded message which tells you information about the airfield you're on. So Sochi, it says runway 06. So this one. So these people here, Whiskey 01 and AE7665 are taken off on the wrong, wrong, wrong runway. They should be taxiing all the way down here to take off 06. You can also check that information on your kneeboard. If I can find it. Let me, cycle. Let me cycle through. Here we go. So through the inferno. Now, this is Gadawa'a, Babushi, Sochi. Now, if there's human ATC, you'll hear them on 251, and they'll tell you, let's say you started on apron one. You would say, Sochi traffic, Warlock, request taxi. They will tell you, Warlock, taxi, runway 24, via November, India, Juliet. So I'd have to taxi all the way down there, take a left, take a right, Oh, and then they'd say kilo as well, so I could actually get there. If it was taxiing to six, they say Roger, taxi via Alpha. So I'd go down here, go there, check F10 obviously, and then take off. Easy peasy. So that's it, a very quick video on how to install SRS. If there's any problems, hit me up with a message or just go to the wiki. There's great information made by Siri Bob on how to actually install it. Thank you very much to everyone again for all the likes for the channel and the support. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you really enjoyed it, click the subscribe and then you'll get more content come from me. It's been an absolute blast making these videos so far and the comments from all you guys have been really positive. So thank you once again. Tactical Pascal, out.